everyone, my name is Blanche Vega and I'm the owner of Pinoy Cafe. In this video, we'll be making pancit bihon. It is a very popular dish in the Philippines. If you go to a Filipino party, I assure you there will be a pancit bihon on the table. I remember growing up, my mom had this um, cafeteria and she was selling pancit bihon. That's where I really knew how to make pancit bihon. I even remembered one time um, there was a customer who was gonna buy pancit bihon and the lady that was supposed to actually make the whole thing was not there so I had to do my best to make the pancit bihon and then it was a fail but because the customer was my mom's co-worker he didn't say anything but I know that was a failed um, dish that I made but you know that's a memory that I could not forget about Pancit Bihon. Okay, so now we will start by showing you the ingredients that we will be needing. So I have some cabbage here. I, I just chopped it. Same with the green beans. See, this is how it looks like. And then some shredded carrots. You can buy the whole carrots and just chop however you like it. And then some red bell pepper, garlic, onions. In the Philippines, we use red onions. I also use red onions at the store, but for this video, I'll be using the white onions. Soy sauce, the basic um, salt, pepper, chicken flavoring, rice noodles, the rice noodles you can buy at the Asian store, some chicken strips. If you're a vegetarian, you, you can just take out the chicken or use a tofu if you want to have some proteins in there. And then also some water. the first two ingredients would be garlic and then the onions. Once the garlic and onion are sizzling, then it is time to put the chicken. Make sure you mix everything. And then you wait for the chicken to be done. Okay, so the chicken is almost cooked. The next step would be putting in the carrots. So after I put all the carrots in the pot, I mix it in with the chicken. I guess I waited about 3 minutes and then I put the green beans in. So during this time, we will be adding the soy sauce. And then right after the soy sauce, we will put the salt. Next would be the pepper. Let's not forget about the chicken flavoring. If you don't have these granules, you could also use the chicken cube. Here's a little fun fact about Filipino foods. We Filipinos love to use vinegar, soy sauce, and even sugar. Yes, you heard it right. We use white or brown sugar. Let's go ahead and put in the water. Then let's wait for it to boil. Okay, so now the water has boiled. 
it is time to put in the rice noodle. After you put all the noodles in the pot, make sure you mix it in the water. Now if you don't want to make this at home, you can definitely stop by at my store. It's called Pinoy Cafe inside Newbo City Market. I have a very limited menu, but these are all popular dishes from the Philippines. I decided to do this restaurant because I noticed there's no other Filipino restaurants. And so now I'm already three years at Yubo City Market. Now it's time to put in the red bell pepper. This gives a really nice color combination for the dish. So lastly, we will put the cabbage. The cabbage cooks really fast. That's why we need to put this in the last part. The pancit pihon is almost cooked. As you can see, there's no more visible water in the pot and then the noodles have become clear. T. Pugh is the proud owner of the first Liberian restaurant in Cedar Rapids, T's Liberian Dish. She opened her restaurant in June of this year. The restaurant took over the former location of Brood Awakenings and is located at the corners of 1st Avenue and 13th Street Southeast near Coe College. In recent interviews with the Gazette and Little Village Magazine, T shared about what makes Liberian food unique. She remarks, with Liberian food, we take our own time to prepare the kind of flavor we put into our food, which makes it different. When T moved to Iowa after living with her husband and children in New Jersey, she started catering for events, carrying on in the tradition of her mother. She opened her restaurant after getting positive feedback from customers and in order to provide a space for people to have a sit down meal together. T and her family left West Africa in 2014 to avoid the Ebola epidemic. When discussing one of her specialty dishes, Liberian jollof rice, T said, Liberian jollof is the best. Other kinds in West Africa don't come with the flavor we put in ours. The flavor of Liberian jollof rice is more savory and less sour than other African versions, which tend to include more tomato. Other dishes at teas include rice and banana bread, cassava leaf and rice, homemade donuts, sweet potatoes and gravy, and cornbread. Teas is open most weekdays starting around 7.30 and advanced carryout orders are accepted for the weekends.